today we're looking at the very special subject of making your dreams come true. And today we're talking about the dreamers who are dreaming about becoming a video game developer, working in the game industry, or taking their idea and seeing it live on a console, mobile app, or um, PC, Mac game. So if you're a novice and you didn't study game development, if you haven't been going to boot camp since you were a kid, fret not. Now is the best time to get into the game development career. There are a lot of elements that go into creating a video game, but in this episode of Level Up, we're going to demystify the magic behind game creation. To create a video game, you need to successfully create the top pillars of your game. Inside of a video game, you need a strong story, you need audio assets, you need characters, you need levels, you also need gameplay mechanics. If you want to level up with a video game, you need to focus on these areas or build a small cohesive team around these areas to accomplish your game. The games that everyone loves and look up to Final Fantasy, Gears of War, Fortnite. If you go on their websites and look at their development team, it's hundreds of coders, animators, and professionals that work on those games. A lot of the guys that work on Fortnite, this wasn't their first game. When you're creating your first game, you want to try to create a game that is scale down don't be too ambitious at the same time focus on a game that can grow over time you want to create a basic game that a three to seven man team can create in three to six months if you give yourself those prerequisites you can really focus on being successful. You do not want to do what my colleagues and I did for Project Fly. We created a video game over six years ago and that game took three years to develop. It took thousands of man hours. The first 90 days it took 20 of my animation students and modelers to work on the game. The remaining um, two and a half years of development was four people and um, I did about 60% of the game. You want to take advantage of quality and very talented individuals because if someone's focusing on the story, you want to pick the best storyteller to accomplish that goal. If they're focusing on the story, you want them to do that and then maybe jump in on another area like audio assets. When it's a small team, you're gonna have to do multiple jobs. Uh, in our game, Project Fly, I did some of the audio, I did a couple original songs, I did the entire first level uh, complete except for the textures, and I actually brought in the, the characters and did the first version of the game mechanics. After building our first pre-alpha, the game mechanics needs to be smoother, so we were able to get enlisting from and get help from EGSA, Exile and his group, and they are professional uh, game coders, and they've done dozens of games over the years. So when you create a game, you want to create a game design document, and you also want to create a universe book. Or a game Bible. With the game design document, you want to include all the plot points, story details, character biographies and aesthetics, level design and objectives, game mechanics, and core gameplay concepts. 
themes and aesthetics for the games. What type of theme is your game? Is it a side-scrolling game? Is it an MMORPG? When you talk about themes, it also has to do with uh, genres. Now, what genre is your game? Is it sci-fi noir? Is it uh, sci-fi? Is it action genre? Is it a racing game? So you want to have all of this planned out before you create an actual 3D character. You want to do this all while you're doing the sketches and the rough drafts and the early treatment of your game. You want to get a rough version of the game design document. Trust me, that's actually going to speed up the process of your development. Now, when you talk about getting the skills to develop a video game, there are a plethora of resources and I'm actually going to name out a few. For instance, you have college programs, you have summer programs, certificate programs, online courses. You can study some of the YouTube videos. Um, the online courses like uh, Pluralsight or Linda are more structured. So you, you're going to get a lot more bang for your buck with the paid online classes versus YouTube. Of course, in my opinion, uh, no mind, the no mind training online is one of the top uh, video game and special effects or 3D animation uh, training uh, courses you study online and there you'll be learning from the top uh, innovators in those fields. Uh, it's a little pricier, but honestly, you are going to get what you pay for. You can also scrummage around the internet at large. You can buy books. You can use trial and error. Of course, trial and error is the longest way for you to get the results you need. In October and November, Quake Studios is doing some workshops on training for video games. We're going to do some basic workshops for animation, for character creation, for rigging your characters, for creating your basic level as well as starting at the very beginning with uh, building your first uh, rough draft for your game design document. These are all one day seminars. These seminars are going to be from October to November. Quake Studios is the creative branch under Quake Technology Inc. And through Quake Studios that's where we released our video game Project Fly. Uh, we did an alpha two years ago. We've actually revamped the game and updated it coming out with a uh, beta version that's going to work on uh, smartphones, Android and iOS at the end of this year. I hope this message finds you well and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.